when you um, uh, mobilize, let's say, the median nerve at the wrist, or moving the elbow, or moving the shoulder, or even moving the neck, how you can have movement or how you can visualize in neuro ultrasound movement of the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, at the area of the wrist, okay? Just by moving the neck, you can see movement of the nerve in both uh, a long axis as well as a short axis. And you can see when a nerve is stuck and it doesn't move enough, and when you apply the neuromobilization techniques, how that can improve the mobility. But also, in certain cases where we do EMG testing, we can use the MSK ultrasound to guide the MSK, the EMG needle. Now, many physical therapists in many parts of the country, uh, you are doing dry needling. Well, MSK ultrasound can help you identify a more precise location for your needle insertion. So for example, you can visualize under MSK ultrasound um, areas of the muscle that are more fibrotic. You can visualize areas that are more nodular. You can visualize areas that they are more inflamed or they have more fluid in, in, in that vicinity. And you can direct your needle in those areas. And not only that, but also there is a special CPT code that you can use to actually bill for the guidance of the needle, of your dry needle. You can evaluate treatment progression and in the event you are working in a hospital or you are working in conjunction with a physician where they are doing either injections or aspirations, you can help to you can help them to guide the uh, needle for the physician working together as a team. So there are many many uses. Now let's look specifically some of the uh, benefits and risks. First of all, uh, let's uh, indicate here that both the imaging section of the orthopedic section, of the, the imaging special interest group of the orthopedic section of the APTA, but also the neuro MSK special interest group of the Academy of Clinical Electrophysiology and Wound Management fully support PTs um, uh, providing MSK ultrasound. Um, APTA works closely with AIUM. AIUM is the American Institute of Ultrasound in Medicine. And this is the organization that insurance companies utilize to decide which professionals they should reimburse for MSK ultrasound. So AIUM has provided full recognition for physical therapists performing MSK ultrasound when properly trained, of course. As a matter of fact, physical therapists can take the RMSK exam and become board certified the same, in the same capacity as physicians in the, uh, in the area of MSK ultrasound. Now, of course, you have to meet specific requirements in order for you to take this exam, and you have to make sure that you receive your training from reputable organizations, okay? Not all training is the same. Uh, so you have to make sure that you receive training that is not just classroom training. Uh, think about this. When you, when you went to the physical therapy school, right? At some point you learned manual therapy techniques, you learned mobilization. Just imagine if, um, you took a class on mobilization when you were a student. I'm not talking about later on if you took additional C, uh, you know, continuing education, but you were a student at the university. You took some courses there on uh, mobilization, manipulation. Just imagine that right after that, without any clinical practicum under the uh, auspices of a licensed professional, without any 
actual practical training, you started treating patients. Well, that would not be that successful. That would be actually dangerous. Same thing here. Be aware of programs that do not provide mentorships. You always want to have a program that combines both classroom education, but also mentorships. For example, the uh, program of the American Academy of Musculoskeletal Ultrasound provides actual fellowship with mentorships with a board certified mentor, mentoring 150 reports of yours, which qualifies you then to go and take the RMSK examination report. Okay? That's why they have it as a requirement. Now, MSK ultrasound pays physical therapies uh, for testing. Um, most insurances um, will reimburse 100 to $200, sometimes more, uh, for one or two units of MSK ultrasound. Now, in Medicare, except of Noridian Medicare, the rest of the Medicare intermediaries have not included yet physical therapy in the, uh, they have not included yet the uh, MSK ultrasound codes in the physical therapy taxonomy, but this is actually something that actively APTA is working right now, and I am uh, working with this APTA team to help them bring that into fruition. Keep in mind, though, as I said, that the vast majority of all other insurances do reimburse physical therapists for MSK ultrasound.